All right, so a lot of people, including myself, have been having problems with Skyrim Together getting stuck on the integrity check. And so what happens is you launch up Skyrim Together and you get into the Harbor Launcher here and you click install and it says integrity check. And it just hangs here on this integrity check forever. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fix this and how we're gonna fix it is we're just gonna use a manual installation and just bypass this launcher entirely. So we can go ahead and exit the launcher, go ahead and open your web browser, and we're gonna go to this URL right here. And I'll put the link to this URL down in the description. And we're just gonna go here to Google Drive, and you're gonna end up here, and we want to double click on the Skyrim Special Edition 2016. And then we're gonna double click on the Build 64X, and that takes us right here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and just right click and go download. And it'll pop up and say, can't scan this file for viruses. And we're just gonna trust that the makers of Skyrim together didn't pack this zip file with viruses. So go ahead and click download anyway. And then we just have to wait for this to download. Now, if your Google Drive looks differently than this, and I'll show you in, on screen what the other one looks like, there's a different ways you can do it. And I'll just highlight really quickly where those two download buttons are. And once this finishes downloading, you can just go ahead and click it here. But if it isn't here, you can go to your downloads folder and open it from there, that's fine. So go ahead and click this and open it. And what we're gonna wanna do is we want to, we want all of this. We're gonna copy all of this out and we're gonna put it in our Skyrim directory. So we need to get to our Skyrim directory. So your Skyrim directory will be in Steam, Steam apps, common. Skyrim Special Edition. And right here is where we want to put all this stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and just drag all of this stuff into here, copy it over. Here, what we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and double click on the stloader.exe. And when you run this, if you run this, and it comes up and says, this version not supported, you're gonna to need to use the downgrade patcher. I already did a video on this, so you can go watch that video on how to use the downgrade patcher and downgrade your version of Skyrim. So go ahead and click this, and this will launch Skyrim together, straight, just go straight into Skyrim together. We don't need the launcher at all. So we just bypass that entire harbor launcher. All right, so that's it. Like all you have to do is rather than use harbor, which is here, you just use this stloader.exe. And so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm just gonna hold down right click, drag to the desktop and go create a shortcut. So I can just launch straight into Skyrim together right here from the desktop, bypassing that launcher forever.